I guess the music lets you know it is, of course, Meal Prep Mondays here. And joining us live, of course, is nutrition co consultant Shauna Thomas to talk about all things squash today. And you really mm -hmm. have a wide assortment of squash-based meals, yes. which is really like kind of exciting because you, you don't really necessarily think of all the alternatives that there are, mm -hmm. but you're here to give us a sense. So this, first of all, smells delicious already. Mm -hmm. Tell yeah. us about this yeah. dish. So this first dish here is with spaghetti squash. So like you said, there's so many different varieties of squash and different ways that you can eat mm -hmm. them. So this one here, spaghetti squash, it is a really stringy squash that you mm -hmm. can use in place of spaghetti, hence the name. Um, and you can just add like meatballs and sauce and use wow. it like that instead of pasta. But what I like to do is use a nice buttery sauce to sort of counter how light the spaghetti squash is. Mm -hmm. um, and then I added in some kale. I have um, uh, up on the screen, you're going to see spinach. But I added kale because I have oh, it, and that's kale. what it's all okay. about, oh, right? You want to use, but you yeah. You could use spinach too. You could totally use right. spinach. Um, uh, some red chili flakes in there, nice uh -huh. butter, Parmesan cheese, and that shrimp. Um, and it's a nice light dish. I absolutely love it. The flavors are so so good. <laughs> they really are. Yeah, mm -hmm. and like you said, low carb, right? Low carb. If that's what you want, if that's what you yeah. feel like. If that's what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's a nice dish and something just to switch it up from having mm. those heavy pastas sometimes, Gosh, right? I love the shrimp because yeah. the color, yeah. the green and the, and the orange too. and the red, mm -hmm. it looks amazing. Okay, next up we have these are one. This is one of my favorite squashes, acorn squash. But you've got a yes. sausage, quinoa uh, kind of mixture that yeah. you stuff into it, and apple in there too. So I was looking this? for a ways. Yeah, go ahead. So mm. all we do is roast the squash. And I show you here, um, I actually roast them with the seeds in. So mm. a lot of people will do all that prep work before you roast them. Oh, but it's really? easier. Is it to easier just, to get? Yeah. Yeah, cut them in half, throw them in the oven at like 400, 425 for about half an hour. And then you scoop the seeds out. And it's Smart. so much easier. Okay. Um, and you can stuff this with anything. There's rice or veggies or whatever. But I love quinoa because it's a whole protein, mm -hmm. right? It has all those amino acids. And I like to add sauces. Um, just for that extra flavor. I have in here some celery, some carrots, some onion. Apple sweetens it up Ooh, too. Yeah. So many different flavors. And then, of course, top it with some cheese, put it under the broiler. And this is a full meal right here. Yeah. Have oh I put enough gosh. on? Like, I see they're oh, kind totally. of overflowing there. Yeah, I wasn't you sure can if it really baked and, like, stuff it in, but yeah, I, mean, I mean, it's oh. completely up to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that looks pretty good. Oh, and then just. Yeah. Oh, is that just <laughs> You're just going to bite right into the side. Is this side mozzarella or cheddar? I, I think I this kinda, is mozzarella. Mozzarella. Well, okay. I don't want to yeah. ruin it for other people, but I just want to smell it. Yeah, and well, and I mean, so acorn squash, these are ones that have a thicker skin, so you can't eat the skin. You can't eat the skin. But I love you using it yeah. as a bowl, right? Yeah, yeah. And then okay. you're getting those flavors of squash in there as well. And how long once once you put them in the oven for? Um, so once it's, uh, this is all cooked, right? We yep. do this on the yep. stove. Yep. Um, under the broiler, yeah. maybe yeah. five minutes. Right. If okay. that, you gotta yeah. watch it. You yeah. don't want it to burn, mm -hmm. okay. for sure. And next up, we have these calamari looking uh, yes. delicata <laughs> yeah. squash rings. Yes, so delicata squash are these big ones over here. They're Ooh. these beautiful stripes. Look at the patterns. Um, and this is a sweet dumpling squash over here as well, which is actually the same squash, just different shapes. Oh. Oh. So a really nice, light, sweet flavor. Um, the reason I like yeah. these for these rings is this Look is a this. thin skin squash. Yeah. You can eat the skin, mm. so no need to uh -oh. peel this? it. Um, yeah, you really? can eat the skin this on one this too. one. Just yeah. make sure you wash it really, really well. So all I do is cut it into rings, take mm. out those seeds, mm -hmm. and then oh I God. batter it in like a Parmesan cheese, breadcrumbs, almond flour, some garlic, some onion, oh. um, powder, salt and pepper, and then you bake it in the oven. So these aren't fried. Um, they're really nice and light. You can ha have them with a dip. Um, and it's kind of a fun way to eat squash, and mm. it doesn't feel as like yeah, heavy and is, for kids especially. This is right? so sweet. This is yeah. so yummy. Isn't it's it like good? sweet and savory. Yeah, I love it. Exactly. It's delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. Something a little bit different. Yeah. And the fact that you can eat oh. that skin just takes out, you know, the, the whole work, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. The work. Mm -hmm. So um, all these different squashes, I mean, if, mm -hmm. if you're curious about it, go to the store, buy a couple different ones, look up some recipes. These are really fun mm -hmm. to make. Um, but they all have sort of those different flavors, and so you can use them in so yeah. many different ways. Mm -hmm. I love them. This one I feed my butter, uh, my, my, <laughs> butter, not, butter. My, my lizards, my beard of dragons, they eat, um, this is what? butternut squash, yeah. right? So Meal what do you use this lizards. one for, for anything here so today? So I right? just brought that because that's another oh, variety Lord. of squash, and one that most people know, mm -hmm. really great for soups, right, okay. and roasting. I love butternut squash for that. And pumpkin on the other end here. I mean, these are all just different kinds of squashes with those different flavors mm -hmm. for you, so, so, so good. We'll send it over to Bill. You brought a fork for Bill, but he's not down I here. Know, so thank you, Shauna. Right? We'll see you back here <laughs> next Monday. Shauna, people Monday. can all find this on your Instagram page. Yes, yeah, Shauna Thomas mm -hmm. Nutrition, Instagram and Facebook. You'll get it this week.